This is your main competitor holding the first position in the Google search. This is your neighbor here acting out. This is your best optimized content located at the bottom of the first page. This one here is a Google second page. And this is SEO hell where most of the sites end up. Therefore, in this video I'm going to show you how to give yourself a chance to be on the top of the Google search. All right, before we get into the juicy tips, I'm going to explain you what are the Google penalties and why the heck should you even care about it. So, really short and simple. If you're pulling some shady SEO techniques, then Google will slap you on the wrist and lower your site rankings or straight up vanishes into from the search result. So, be careful. Now pay attention that there are two types of penalties. There is a manual penalties and there are also a algorithmic penalties. Let's break it down. What is what? A manual penalty is when someone from the Google discovers that your site goes against their policies. For example, it contains hatred toward gender or race or something. And if there is a, any indication that your site is somewhat spammy or contains harmful content, then the Google will decrease your site rankings and it doesn't care whether you were in the first position or the last position. Here is a list of things that may cause manual penalty. For example, your site contains spammy content. Next, your site contains thin content, that is uh, low quality content or a duplicate content across multiple pages. Next, unnatural or manipulative link building techniques are used. Then Google penalizes your site. One technique that is used for this is buying or selling links or participating in link schemes, or even using automated tools to create low quality backlinks. So websites that violate Google's guidelines for natural link building, they may face penalties. Also, if your site is hacked, then you may face a manual penalty. Now let's take a look whether your site has a manual penalty or not. Hopefully you have a Google search console login. And now take a look at the security and manual actions over here. Click and take a look at the manual actions. If there is a no issues detected message, then everything is okay. But if you see something similar like the one on the screen right now, then you have a problem, then fix your site and press on a request a review button. Now this all was about the manual penalties. Now let's talk about the algorithmic penalties. Sure, an algorithmic penalty is something that is caused by a change in the Google algorithm. And this changes a couple of times a year. If you are unaware of recent algorithmic changes, then keep an eye on the blogs that explain all this. One of my favorites is a search engine journal. It contains all sorts of SEO tips and tricks. So how do you recognize whether you have been hit with the algorithmic update? Well, if the traffic has dropped significantly, then probably you have been hit. Now, next question is, how long will it take for you to recover from the Google penalty? This one depends on the each case and its difficulty. Sometimes it may take a couple of weeks, but sometimes it may even take months. Just fix the issues on your site. If it's a manual penalty, then submit a request to review the sanctions using your search console. And if possible, then explain the issues precisely and describe what did you do in order to fix those issues. And one more suggestion. If all this seems too complicated for you, then I would suggest you to hire a SEO specialist. All right, now you may be wondering, but why should I care whether my site is on the first position or the third position or even on the last position of the Google's first page? Well, let me put it in the easiest way possible. And in order to do so, I'm going to show you some stats. Oh, one more thing. All the links I have shown you and the other links I'm going to show you, I'm going to put the links to the video description so you can take a closer look at it. But now let's take a look at this one here. According to the 2022 research, top three Google position get approximately 52% of clicks. As you see, first gets 28 and so on. Now, the stats I would like to especially point out is that if your site is on a Google second page, then you will get approximately 9.5% of clicks. So first 10 position get approximately 70%. And of those, 52% goes to the first three position. Which means the lower your position is, the less traffic you'll get. Okie dokie, now it's time to dig deep and check out these big no-nos that will get your site slapped with a penalty. So, brace yourself and here's a list. 
Just as a reference, all those spam policies for Google web search are on a Google website. I'm going to put the link in the video description so you can take a closer look at it. But those policies clearly state what are the rules and what sites are the ones that violate policies that may lower link in their search results or not appear in their results at all. The list is 14 items long. I'm not going to cover all of those here. I'm going to take a look at the most common mistakes. And first of those is keyword stuffing. It is a bit outdated SEO tactic of inserting a lot of keywords to rank a page artificially. Usually they sound out of context and they feel unnatural. For example, if you would like to rank for a keyword best WordPress teams, then you will put this phrase in every paragraph in a way that it doesn't look normal and looks unnatural. Pay attention that your keyword density should be between 1 and 2%. That means if your text is 1000 words long, then approximately 10 to 20 times is considered natural, but it shouldn't be out of context. And this was keyword stuffing. Next things are about the link spam and the hidden text and links or unnatural links. For more than 10 years, Google already has been finding ways to penalize those manipulative link practices. But even nowadays, there are a bunch of websites that are offering paid links for your site. Google has declared that uh, they can differentiate and ignore bad links, which means you need to watch out for the quality of the backlinks your site has. What else can cause Google to get the signal that there is something wrong with the backlinks to your site is that too many backlinks appear rapidly, which might mean the links are artificial. Also, many unnatural links for irrelevant domains point to your site. This might mean that paid blog networks or link farms are linking to your site. Also, if your site has too many outbound links from one page, this is also a signal that something is wrong with it. Now let's talk about the hidden text and links. Hidden text and links are the ones that are not displayed for the humans. For example, they are using white text on a white background so you can't see it, but search engines can index those. So it's a way to manipulate search engines. And it's also considered as a bad SEO practice. Next one is a spammy automatically generated content. And nowadays, it means mainly AI-created content. Yes, AI-created content can be good. If you as an author take a closer look at it, fix the issues with the text and make it sound more natural. But if the content is generated without producing anything original or adding sufficient value, then it's considered as spammy content. Nowadays, web is full of spammy websites with automatically generated content. Next mistake that will take you to the SEO hell is a scraped content. What is a scraper? Basically, a scraper is a program that collects text and content from other sites, puts them on your site and displays it as your own. So basically, you copy and republish content without adding any original content or value and even without citing the original source. So this means it's a plagiarized content, it's a duplicate content, it doesn't add any value, and you will be penalized by staying in SEO hell for a while. There is also user-generated spam, and user-generated spam is about spamming posts on forum threads or using comment forms for spamming and linking to your site, or you add spam other ways to the sites. Next one is sneaky redirects. That means you show search engines one type of content while redirecting your users to something significantly different. Another way to do that is that you display desktop users at one page, but if I'm on mobile page, then you will redirect me to the completely different spam domain. And last one I would like to cover is that if your site contains malware, most likely you have seen the image you see on the screen right now. This red warning one. If you see this one for your site, this means that your site has been hacked. Google has discovered this and your site will be taken from the search result or it will get penalized another way. Now, once again, these were the main reasons your site may get penalized. But take a closer look at this article you see on the screen right now. If you read it through then you will get the full picture of what is what. 
what can be done and how to stay away from the SEO hell. All right, all this is nice and dandy and definitely will keep you away from these mistakes. But you know what? That's not all. I have also made a, another video which talks about SEO scores and what should you know about these. This video is right somewhere on the screen right now. So be sure to click on it and see how does it help you. Meanwhile, take care.